Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're setting up the Hikvision one way video panel with built in keypad. We're going to be configuring it to call one handset and configuring the code for the keypad. You're going to need Hikvision IVMS 4200 for this configuration. That's available from hikvision.com and just search IVMS 4200. We've already used um, SADP to configure the IP address and passwords. So all we're going to do now is add it to the IVMS client and configure the, um, the door station to call the phone. So here we are in the IVMS client, we're in management, uh, maintenance and management. Let's have a look for online devices. And there's the two I've just configured. So first of all, let's configure the handset monitor. Click out and give it its name. Uh, username would be admin, lowercase, and the password you created in SADP. Synchronize the time is always a good idea. And add that. And then we were going to add the door. Uh, so we've populated there. Uh, synchronize the time and add that and there we go they're both added to the client now and showing us online so first of all let's go to the door and do some configuration there so doors at the top door station click on uh, remote configuration that load up maximize the screen so let's go to um, device management first of all Let's add a device, the indoor station, give it its password. This is the password you configured in um, SADP. It's really important that when you set it up here, you don't set it up in standalone mode. Set it up in this one first because the password won't cross over. Um, I need the serial number now for the indoor station that's this one here uh, q06658 um, q06658 and what was the rest of it six five eight two six four two six four the ip address would be one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot twenty one subnet mask would be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero standard um, address and um, gateway again be standard. Floor one, room one, click OK to that. It's going to show us offline, don't worry about that just yet. Let's go to intercom, session settings, and type in the registration password. This is the password you created in SADP. Save that. And then let's go to the handset. Go to network, group network settings, registration password. That's the password you created in um, SADP. The IP address of the door station, 168. One dot two two. I'm going to take a guess at. Let's double check. Oh, no, we can't go. Um, save that. Uh, 
just to yeah it was two two so that's okay um just go back to the door station click over to device management and this time if you look it's added the door the door's online this time so now if i press the intercom button on the panel it should make the phone ring And there we go, it's ringing. If you press the button again, it cancels the call. But there you go, you heard the reassurance tone from the door station and the internal phone, the handset, ringing. Now the intercom can make a call and um, communicate with the handset. Next, we need to set up a code so people can get in. So again, back to settings. Let's move this window. And let's go to intercom, password settings, public password. Let's create a code, 1212, my case, 1212. And the same again, 1212. Press save. And that's applied. So let's close that. Now, if I go to my keypad, uh, how you use the keypad is you type in hash the code and then hash. So if I press hash, one, two, one, two, and then hash. And there's the code accepted. And there you go, the short setup of the Higvision Generation 2 IP intercom, door station with the pin code. Pin code is set into the keypad and one button to call one handset. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and project teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the project team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.